But first up, she's a comedian who hosts the Nikki Glaser podcast and the HBO Max reality series out this summer, F-Boy Island. Nikki Glaser is over here. Hello. Hi, Bill. How you doing? Good, thanks. All right. Hilarious oh. show so far. Thank you. So I, good. I guess, so we're still distanced? Is that gonna change? <laughs> Because you don't, you don't look healthy. I'm a, I, yeah. I, I had the vaccine and the disease. I, I, <laughs> I, I couldn't give it to you if I wanted to. How was it? Did you get do, any Nothing. loss of smell? No. Uh, yes, for a couple of days, a lot. That's that was, pretty good here in LA to have with the homeless issue. It's good if you fart. <laughs> um, <laughs> so listen, I wanted to have a comedian here right now, and you're one of my favorites because tonight is the eve of when I go back on tour. I haven't been out there. <laughs> Yeah, this is a, I'm uh, oh. How long's it been? March, it was February of 2020. It's the last time I've done stand-up. Trump was president. I have to write a whole new act. <laughs> I mean, I'm, it, was, it was good. I love it, I love it. I'm, I can't wait. I mean, I'm nervous like I haven't been since I was 23. I know, well, that's exciting, right? So exciting. Are you, have you been doing shows? I mean, I was doing them during the pandemic when it was, when I convinced myself it was safe enough to do. Where? And I would go to these clubs that were, you know, half capacity. Club. And I would perform with a mask, which is so hard to do. Oh. And I would have fans on the stage blowing the COVID back at the audience. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I really did. I had them, and, um, but then I quit doing them because I just felt like the crowds that were coming out for those shows were anti-maskers who aren't my, like, the people that enjoy me. And I feel as comfortable performing in front of. So now I'm excited to go back out on the road and Wow. Everyone feels more comfortable, yeah. Isn't that sad that there's an ideological component even to that, that you, so that was not your crowd. I just felt it, you know? Like, it, the people that were, like, rearing and ready to go and laugh, like, yeah. ready to laugh in September of last year were not people I, uh, we have share a lot of common But thoughts. that's why I love the, that's why I love doing the red states, because they are more ready to laugh and yeah. not go, mm, that's not politically correct. And okay. you are not politically correct. Yes. I mean, you're the roast lady. Yeah. I mean, that's why I first saw you and fell no. in love with you, because you are so hysterical oh, on those roasts, you. am I right? Thanks. So, I mean, yes, going back out there is so, I'm so happy about it, but also it carries stress because of this age we live in, right? Yeah. So I wanted to ask you about that, because are you afraid of, that, do you have stress about, well, I want to riff and be the funniest I can be, but I don't want to get canceled. I, I was really scared of getting canceled for a while. And then uh, COVID hit and I moved back home with my parents for 10 months and I realized like, if I get, I've been canceled. Like that's getting canceled. So I, if you cancel me, it's, I lived the life that I would have lived had shit hit the fan. <laughs> and it's but not you, that bad, it was kind of great. But you, but you knew it was gonna end. You, if I it was did. for the rest of your life, back right. in the no, no, no. room I, with the Star Trek wallpaper? I, <laughs> it, I got out of there eventually, and yes, it, I, do, I don't fear being canceled anymore because I can't live in that state of fear because I just good. know at my core I'm a good person and I'm not racist or, or I try not to be racist. I try my best to not hurt people, but I, I just know that. So if I get canceled, I'll just right. be, I'll be at peace with myself and I'll, I'm accountable. I don't mind apologizing. But if, if you're doing a roast for... I don't, oh. if I, if, I don't have a problem being like, to, if I see someone get up during my show, cause right now I'm doing, um, I'm doing like a, I'm working on this like molest, molestation chunk, which is the, but it's, I can, I can do those jokes because I wasn't molested, so I like don't care, but like I, uh, <laughs> it's like, I can right. talk about that more freely because I don't have a lot of uh, Baggage. trauma around right. it that I remember, right? Like, I, who knows, it could have happened. <laughs> I'm in therapy now to dig it out. Let's find it, it would explain a lot. But uh, I'm serious, but, I, but it is well, weird going there because I right. see people, sometimes I see people get up and go, you know what, I don't want to hear this because Obviously, something I'm saying is triggering them in a way that's making them have a panic attack. And I, I, I think about that and I go, okay, that one person is uncomfortable, but the information that I'm putting out there by talking about it is more important, I think. Even though I'm joking about it, it's still addressing it and it's uh, talking about how it's a yeah, big issue and everyone's and been it, molested. It... Besides me. Then, then why apologize? I will I mean, apologize to that person if they write me and they go, listen, I went to your show wanting to have a good time and I ended up in the bathroom hyperventilating and crying. You know and what? I would say, 
listen, I, I'm sorry you feel that way. Like, the sorry you feel that way, but I deeply answer. I don't want to cause it. I don't like to offend people. It's really not fun no, for but, me. No, but, okay, I don't want to get eaten by a shark, but I go in the ocean. Right. You know, I mean, if you're going to watch, you're a known commodity now. If, if... But if a shark bit me, I'm not kidding you, Bill. Like, if I got attacked by a shark and I punched it in the face and they, they killed the shark in retaliate, I would feel bad. I would want to find that shark and be like, well, I know you were just being you. Listen. Like you were just doing, like I'm sorry, I would punch it, but I would feel bad okay. that it felt bad.